Hello dear friends, I am Daisy Victoria and today I'm going to share how I get dressed in my 1860s American Civil War work dress. This is the first in a two-part series sharing my typical Civil War work clothing. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell if you'd like to see everything I share here. The inner layers of this clothing are chemise and drawers, also known as bloomers or pantaloons. These bloomers are split at the crotch, which makes things a little easier under the layers to come. Both bloomers and chemise are made of cotton fabric and trimmed with cotton lace. The corset is made of cotton with a canvas interlining and metal busk and grommets. The boning is a modern metal alternative to period boning. The corset busk is hooked in the front and then the laces are tightened in the back. For a more in-depth video on lacing yourself into a corset, I'll add a link to a prior video I created in the description. This corset is very comfortable as it was made to fit my body. I am wearing it under my working clothes and I find it very easy to work in a well-fitted corset such as this. I also added socks. By the way, dancing definitely helps to get dressed. The next layer is a petticoat, also made of cotton. Petticoats can vary in length. This one is short enough that it won't be visible under my Vivandia uniform, which you'll see in the next video. The dress skirt and bodice are separate, so that way I can interchange them with other pieces. This is a period practice, and the two are held together using hooks and eyes at the waistband. I like to hook them together before putting on the dress, as that makes the hooks around the sides and back a little easier to work with. The dress is made of plaid cotton homespun and the bodice is lined in cotton muslin. The skirt hooks in front and the bodice has buttons all the way up the front and at the sleeve cuffs. My prior video shares a bit more on this dress and how I made the apron.
Oh, and the dress has pockets. The collar is a separate piece which attaches using a fashionable cameo brooch. The apron is made of cotton muslin. This is sometimes referred to as a pinner apron due to the fact that it is pinned onto the bodice of the dress. The apron ties in the back and has pockets in front. I also have a PDF tutorial on creating this apron, so check the description for that link if you're interested. A crocheted hairnet is added to keep the hair in place. Finally, a sunbonnet adds protection from the sun while one is working outdoors. This is a very simple bonnet featuring a reinforced brim that comes out over the face, blocking as much sun as possible. This is a very comfortable ensemble for getting work done during the 1860s and the American Civil War. The dress is so comfortable and so easy to move around in it. This can be worn for indoor work or outdoor work, especially with sunbonnet added. In fact, a working day dress such as this with a pin or apron added is even something that we see a lot on field nurses from the period. I'm hoping to wear this to some events again once we have events happening, and I would love to do more of a feature in a reenactment setting. Let me know if that's something you'd like to see and if you have any questions I may address when I have the chance to film that. In my next video, I'm going to transform into a battlefield working lady known as a Vivandier. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe to my channel and consider supporting me on Patreon if you'd like extra goodies and more in-depth looks at some of my projects. I also have PDF tutorials to help you create your dream costumes, and you can find me on the social medias. I look forward to seeing you again very soon.